What's up guys, Tektine here and I am back again with a brand new video. So before I begin this video as always, I want to thank you all so much for watching this one. If you have been, if you enjoy my content, please leave a like on this video in particular. Also subscribe to my channel for more tech videos like this one. Okay, so without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump into today's video. So in today's video, I'm actually excited and kind of surprised that LG did this. So LG has released this phone right here, which is called the LG Q7 Plus. So the LG Q7 Plus is, in my opinion, basically might be better than the LG Stylo 4 for a lot of reasons. And one of them being design, the other one being specs, which the LG Stylo 4 kind of lacked. Uh, it had only 2GB of RAM, 32GB of storage. Now I believe the processor of the Q7 Plus and the Stylo 4 is the same. Don't quote me on that though. Okay, so let's just go ahead, I mean, yeah, let's just jump to the unboxing. So here's how the here's how the front of the box looks like. I mean it's just standard Metro PCS box. And here you get a little bit of specs. Supports a 5.5 inch full HD plus full vision display, which means you're gonna you're gonna get the 18 by 9 aspect ratio that I'm really glad that budget phones are making the move to. A 16 megapixel rear facing camera, and you get an 8 megapixel front facing camera. Now this is where things get a little bit exciting. 64 gigabytes of storage and whopping 4 gigabytes of RAM on a budget phone. And a lot of people complain in terms of the budget world that uh, most budget phones have two gigs, two and a half gig of RAM, two and a half gigabyte of RAM at most. But this one has a really nice four gigabytes of RAM, which is a lot, especially for a budget phone. Okay, a 1.8 gigahertz octa-core processor. So yeah, I mean, that's it for the specs, which is really exciting, by the way. Oh, sorry about that my tripod broke so we're gonna have to do this handheld and I'll keep it as stable as I can so here you go um, here's the phone itself wow look at this blue color all right so inside the box we get some paperwork of course our sim card your charging port and this is a this is a nicely weight charging port so it does support fast charging and i believe you have the usb to regular usb usb c to regular usb so yeah that's cool and all but i really don't care for any of that i'm here for the phone i'm really excited about it so let's see so here it is wow this looks really nice it actually kind of looks better than the um yeah, this definitely looks better than the Stylo 4. I'm not even going to lie to you. In terms of the, I don't know, the color, the blue color gives it a better look. Okay, so let's just unwrap this piece of plastic. Here it is. Wow. Even the sides, the blue, uh, the they made out of aluminum. And the back... I'm not sure if it's glass or not, but if it's plastic, then it's doing a good job resembling glass. I, I highly doubt it's glass because, I mean, at the end of the day, this is a budget phone. And let's talk about pricing real quick. So in terms of pricing, this phone is $300 when you get a new line. But when you switch to Metro PCS, and I'm not, they're not really sponsoring this video. I'm just giving you guys the pricing. When you switch, you can get it for 100 bucks. So $300 smartphone. That has this nice that has these nice specs and a nice design that's cool all right so on the right hand side you have your small power button and on the left hand side you also have your volume up and down and they seem to be a little bit clicky not as clicky as the style of four in my opinion but hey this is just first impressions so let's turn it on Okay, so while it's turning on, let's quickly walk through this phone's design. So like I said, the sides are made, of, are made out of aluminum and gives it this nice look and nice feel. And they do match the back of the phone, which is this blue color, and it's very reflective. So you have your uh, 60 megapixel camera with the LED flash, as well as your fingerprint sensor. And some warning information, hey, the back cover has a non... So this phone basically is still, it's basically telling you this is a non-removable battery. So you have the Q7 Plus right here and the LG logo on the bottom. Also on the bottom you do have your 3.5mm uh, headphone jack, a USB-C, nice, and your speaker. And they're supposed to be better than the 
Nest LG Stella 4 speaker, but that's for me to test. So here you go. And you also have, you do have your LED notification light at the top. And the bezels are fairly small. Now this is only a 5.5 inch screen, unlike the LG Stella 4, which I believe it was uh, 6.2 inches. So this is a smaller phone. Well, it's 5.5 inch. It's not. Okay, so this is definitely a smaller phone than the LG Stylo 4, but for most people, this is a really nice size. I mean, I like the size of this phone. It's really comfortable to hold, and the, the kind of this curvature on the back gives it a really good grip and really good feel. So I'll give them props for that, for this attention to detail on this budget phone. So that's really nice from LG. Here's the setup process. So let's quickly set it up. It's good. So battery life and things like that, those I will have to test in the full review, but yeah, so next, come on. All right, let's skip this one real quick. All right, come on. And boom, there you go. So there's how the phone looks like on the front. And I do gotta say, I mean, in terms of display, I know this is really first impressions, but in my opinion, this display colors look better than the LG Style 4. Again, I haven't really put them side by side to the side, but this is definitely a sharper display because it only has 5.5 inches versus the LG Style of 4's uh, 6.2 inches. So this is definitely a better, sharper display. Now, in terms of color and detail, I can't really tell you for sure, but at first impressions, it looks better. So yeah, I mean, right off, right off the top, man, this design, this design really stands out. And I really was surprised that, L that LG released this. Now this doesn't really support st the stylus feature that the LG Style 4 has, but hey, me personally, I really don't care for the stylus. So let's see opening up day-to-day -day tasks and like the speed, I mean, 64 gigabytes of storage, four gigabytes of RAM, a 1.8 gigahertz octa-core processor. This should be up there in terms of performance. So let's see, so the phone app. Okay, took a little extra second, the messaging app. All right, now when it comes to RAM, this phone should keep most of its apps in the background open. Uh, now this, of course, is gonna depend on RAM management and how LG deals with that. But I think it should it should take care of it fine. So let's see. So, all right, let's go back to the phone app. Now this is nothing intense. Uh, of course, it kept it in the background. But once I once I really test it out and put it through its spaces with heavy demanding games, um, especially games, of course, because then you'll test out if it will keep their uh, it will keep them open in the background or not. So, but so far this is a really nice phone. Now, let's see what the camera's about. So okay, so you can use this full 18 by 9 to take full advantage of the display. So the viewfinder on the camera should look nice. And it does. So yeah, uh, let me find an object to take a picture of. Let's see, this Dutch tape, so three, two, one. Okay, fast at taking pictures and right off the viewfinder, let's see. So right off the viewfinder, this looks, this picture looks really nice. Um, in terms of colors, it looks good. I mean, it's only white, so it looks it looks good but it's sharp it's detailed and i also have to do more testing on that but i really gotta say like the display also gets fairly bright brighter than the lg style of 4 i can tell you that for sure and yeah so far i mean i'm i'm kind of impressed with this phone so let's see let's see the speaker because i want to see if the speaker is actually better than this style of 4. So let's turn on the phone. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Right off first impressions, the speaker is definitely way better than the LG Style 4. Yes. This might be the best budget phone of 2018 that is under $300. And mind you, the LG Style 4 is 180, but again, like I said, when you switch 
you can get this phone for a hundred dollars so depending on what you do you can either do it for a hundred or three hundred so yeah uh, let me go ahead and put this phone down this is it for the impression so, okay so I put the phone away but I forgot to cover a couple of things so this does support 32-bit hi-fi quad decks so if you have a hit so if you have high-end headphones this phone will definitely take advantage of that the other thing that I forgot to cover is that this this phone has IP68 dust and water resistance so it has so the water resistant you can submerge it into an up to 1.5 meters of water for 30 minutes okay so yeah this phone is very promising just you guys you guys just wait for the full review i'm really excited for this one i want to thank you all so much for watching this one if you enjoyed it please leave a thumbs up i really greatly appreciate it also if you want more to see more videos of coverage on this phone subscribe to the channel and yeah i will catch you guys in the next video thanks so much for watching